Hey guys, so we have a quick look here at the 3D Creator app for the Sony Xperia XE Premium, the Xperia XE One, and the Xperia XE One Compact I'm filming the video of right now. So this is something pretty unique that Sony is doing. So a lot of people are saying good things about this, Sony was pretty excited about it. And basically you use the cameras on your phone, you scan a 3D object, and then you can use it for a lot of things including 3D wallpaper, uh, you can use it for a game avatar, you can use it for, well if you have a 3D printer you can use that as well. So first I'll show you all a brief demo of it. And the XE Premium did just get this with the Android 8 Oreo update. So I'm going to press right here in the bottom right corner. And now there's basically four different options. Uh, you do need to do the face scan at first. So you need to complete at least one face scan before you unlock the other three options. So yeah, first one is face scan. And then you have a full head scan. Uh, food scan and then the last one is just preform scan. So let me show you guys a brief look at the preform, uh, preform scan first. So first you have to get the object in position like this. So the DualShock 4 is a bit too big to demo so instead I'll use Yarn Yoshi for this. Okay so it is pretty tough because you do have to get perfect lighting for it. But as you guys see, I have the Yarn Yoshi in focus right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press start. And basically, you just move the camera all around it. You wanna capture all angles of it. Now, what's a bit tough about this is, uh, as you guys see, it is a bit tough to actually to put the camera behind it like this. Because unfortunately, you can't move the object around. You have to keep the camera. <laughs> this is. This is actually gonna turn out pretty bad, I think, but yeah. Yeah, so that is the final result. All right, let's go ahead and try it again. So the tough thing about this setup is I can't actually walk behind the table. So instead, I'm just gonna have to kind of, uh, let's see here. I guess that kind of works, but it's gonna turn out to be pretty bad. So in order for this to really work, you kind of need to have it on a table about this size. Because again guys, there is a wall there on the back, so I can't really just stand behind there. But I'll show you guys one more example, one more try, and then I'll show you guys uh, the ones I did earlier today. Okay, so here we go. And you do need very, very good, uh, very, very good lighting for this to work. Okay, kind of got the back there. Yeah, unfortunately it's not gonna work, but <laughs> uh, let me just show you guys the gallery. So basically what I did earlier is I put the object on the table like this, and then I just walked around it. So yeah guys, this is really the way you have to do it. So look at the examples from earlier today. So this was a face scan. And it's decent, but obviously there's a lot of crap kind of going on there in the background as well. And you do need to take off your glasses for it. And then another one. See, I know, uh, oh yeah, this is actually the full head. But as you guys see at the top there, not bald, but uh, you do have to make sure you scan the full 360 on it. But aside from that, I think it looks pretty decent. Now this next one, definitely an improvement. Now here's the thing guys, I did have to go into more direct lighting and uh, this app, it requires a ton of lighting and just in my opinion, it does look a lot worse under this lighting. But at least the top of the head is there. And as you guys see, the light was coming down right there on the back. So definitely not an ideal look right here, but that is what it is. So honestly guys, this did take a lot of time, which is why my face looks a bit grumpy on these. Uh, I think it took about half a dozen times for each of these, and uh, even the final result, really not that good in my opinion. But if you are under ideal lighting source, then I think it uh, definitely would work out a lot better. So after this, I tried doing some other stuff. Again, this is a look at that little table that I have. And I put the YouTube subscribe button right on top of it. 
So I think the quality on this is pretty decent, but you do have this table also underneath it. I mean, if you can have like an object floating in space, then obviously it would work out perfectly. But as it is, uh, I know you can like edit some of this stuff out, like table for uh, table for example. But aside from that, it is pretty tough to get exactly what you want for it. This right here, I was trying to uh, do the Sony Xperia XC Premium, and for something that's pretty flat like that, does not work at all. Uh, also, it was kind of reflecting, so I think that definitely threw it off. And here we have a deformed Yoshi. Closer look at that. So yeah, you can zoom in on this stuff. Uh, let's see. But yeah, clearly not very good here. And some of this is my fault, definitely. I did improve, as you guys see in a second. So this one, much, much, much better. But still, as you guys see at the back here, you do have a lot of shadows. So really, you do need to have perfect lighting for this to work well. Let's see, this, oh yeah, so this, I wasn't impressed with this one. This was the Sony Xperia box, the XC Premium box. And, I don't know, it might have been partially my fault, but just looking at the edges there, it's pretty rough. But then, the one right after that was a lot better. So once again, this is on that tiny table, but here's a look at that. So not perfect, but definitely, definitely improved over the previous one. This right here is the mini Android guy and was not that impressed with this one, but again guys, a lot of these, if you just redo them a few times, will be a lot better. Oh yeah, this was a Pokeball and this one, again, this was a disaster. I did not try redoing it though. This one was pretty good. This one is Bulbasaur. So it is pretty good quality detail on this. Uh, I think some of the back not that good, but the rest of it is pretty solid. And once again, guys, you can actually go through and kind of delete the base here, but it does take a lot more effort to do that. All right, guys, just a couple more. Whalmer. And this one, pretty decent as well, but as you guys see right there under the water, that part definitely got messed. Uh, that part got messed up right there. But the rest of it, I think, is pretty decent. And then this is Kenny from South Park, and the bottom of that looks like a mess. You can put in a South Park Kenny dying joke right there. And final one, and then I'll show you guys the export options. So this one, definitely an improvement, but just as you guys can see, it is pretty easy for it to get deformed. Gonna zoom in on it. Okay, so let's go back to one of the more decent ones. Uh, we'll do, I think Bulbasaur is pretty good. So once again, it's gonna zoom all the way in on this. I think it's pretty good detail on it. So at the bottom, there's an option for 3D print. And unfortunately, I did not have a 3D printer, but uh, it is pretty awesome if you're actually able to do this. And more realistic, I think, for a lot of people is the share button right here. So you can share it on social media. You can upload the sketch fab. Uh, you can share it as a file. And then set your model as a live wallpaper, actually. Oh, I'll go ahead and do this right now. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. You can also play with it as a 3D avatar and AR effects. Uh, I actually have not tried this out yet, so let me do a quick look at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and add on Bulbasaur. So I can't get it to work on a table, I think, because it is just white background, but I did go back over to the little table I had earlier. And here's a look at Bulbasaur on that. And as you guys see right there, it kind of got messed up. Uh, so honestly, not really that impressive, but I think, you've, uh, I think if you do have a lot of lighting, then it is a lot better than this.
So that aside, there's a couple editing options here at the top. Uh, the I actually don't know what exactly this means, but I guess it just takes out the color from it. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is, if you actually did 3D print this, I think it will look pretty similar to this. Just about the color, obviously. And then also you have this little uh, magic wand here. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, there's a lot of editing you can do to it. Uh, but just from what I've seen, it does take a pretty long time to do it. And then you can also morph it just for fun. Let's see if give Bulbasaur a oh, nice big chin. And checking out Swine all the way up. Doesn't do much. Alien. That actually works pretty well for Bulbasaur. And final one, let's do uh, round. And now we have Obese Bulbasaur. So basically guys, it comes down to this. If you're able to have great lighting, uh, if you have like a nice table you can put stuff on, if you wanna take the time, edit out the background stuff, the base of the table, things like that, then this does actually work very, very well. But obviously it is pretty tough to get all those circumstances correct. So it will work, but I think for most people it's probably not worth the effort for it. Uh, but I do want to give Sony a lot of credit for actually going through and doing this because really not any other companies are doing this right now. I think Apple, they kind of started after Sony, but aside from that, this is pretty new territory. So overall, it's pretty impressive technology, but I do think it needs a lot more work in the future. Okay guys, so thanks for watching, and if you're not already, 